Outline of the Organon of Samuel Hanneman 172-184. One-sided cases 172. A similar difficulty occurs when there are too few symptoms. These cases deserve our careful attention 173. There are certain chronic diseases that have few symptoms. These are in quad, one-sided and quad, cases. 174. The complaint may be internal or external, local maladies, 175. In the first kind it might just be the lack of discernment on the part of the practitioner 176. Still, there might be just one or two symptoms after a well-taken case 177. In these very rare cases, we should give the remedy that is homeopathically indicated 178. Sometimes, this will cure the case, especially if the symptoms are characteristic 179. More frequently, the medicine will cover the case only partially 180. This leads to a new array of symptoms, some of the disease itself, which have never before been noticed 181. These new symptoms, while they might owe their origin to the remedy, are the symptoms of the disease, and we should direct further treatments accordingly. 182. The imperfect selection of the remedy, in these cases, opens the case to the discovery of the more accurate remedy. 183. When the first dose ceases action, the second remedy can be selected. 184. Keep taking the case. After each new remedy until recovery is complete. 185 to 203. Local diseases 185. Local maladies. Appear on external parts of the body. That they stand alone is absurd. 186. Problems which are. And quat. Local and quat. And have been produced from without have great effect on the whole living. Organism. When mechanical aid is needed, then surgery is required, setting bones, bringing skin together, extracting foreign objects, etc. But the whole living organism requires dynamic aid to accomplish the work of healing. 187. But and quat. Local and quat. Manifestations that are not produced by external injury have their source within the body. To see them and treat them as external is as absurd as it is pernicious. 188. It is absurd to think that living organisms know nothing of these external problems. 189. All external maladies, except injuries, come about as a result of an internal diseased state. 190. All treatments, therefore, must be directed against the whole. 191. This is confirmed through experience. 192. All changes, not just the local affliction, must be taken into account when determining the remedy. 193. When the dose is taken, the general morbid state of the body is cured, and with it, the local affliction, which was an inseparable part of the whole disease. 194. In local diseases it is of no use to apply remedies locally for the topical affliction, even if it is the same remedy that is used internally. If the vital force was not competent to restore full health, then the acute disease was a manifestation of latent sora which has now burst forth. 195. To cure such cases, which are not rare, give the anti sorich remedy after the acute stage has subsided. This is all that is required in non-venereal cases. 196. It might seem that cure would be hastened by the application of the remedy locally as well as internally. 197. This should not be done. In diseases where there is a local affliction, the application of the remedy to the surface may annihilate the local symptoms before the internal disease, and this may seem to be a cure but isn't. 198. The use of topical applications alone is 
inadmissible. If you only remove the local symptoms, it is often hard to see the more obscure inner symptoms, which may be slightly characteristic and difficult to see. 199. If the external symptoms have been removed by surgery, etc., the remaining internal symptoms might be too vague to discover the remedy because the external symptoms can no longer be seen. 200. If it hadn't been removed, the remedy of the whole disease would have been found and would have resulted in a perfect cure. 201. The vital force, when expressing a chronic disease keeps the disease on the surface, and therefore not threaten life itself. But since the external manifestation is a part of the general disease, as the disease gets worse the external manifestation gets worse. So it can still be a substitute. 202. If the external disease is now destroyed, nature will make up the loss by increasing the internal disease. This is incorrectly referred to as being and quat, driven back into the system. And quat. 203. Removing the external without treating the internal as a criminal. Procedure. 204 to 209. Introduction to the treatment of chronic disease 204. If we exclude all chronic diseases that are caused by unhealthy living, para. 77, and all medicinal diseases, para. 74. Most of the remainder of chronic diseases, without exception, are caused by the three miasms. Psychosis, syphilis, and a greater proportion, sora. 205. The homeopath will never treat the primary symptoms, but only cures the underlying miasm. Refer to chronic diseases. 206. When taking the chronic case, make a careful investigation if the patient ever had venereal disease. Two miasms might be present, but, frequently, SORA is the sole fundamental cause of all chronic disease. 207. Find out what kind of allopathic treatment had been had, to understand how the disease has changed. 208. The patient's age, mode of living and diet, occupation, domestic position, social relation, etc. must be taken into consideration, as well as the state of the mind and the disposition. 209. Trace the picture of the disease, and get the patient to tell the most striking and peculiar symptoms. 